Hey everybody, it's your fangirl here. Welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Moon. And we are about to start our first class. And these little tykes are the challengers, apparently. But you gotta start from the beginning somewhere, I guess. Look at this fierce little tyke, he's so adorable. I am the Pokemon challenger, Mia! I am fierce with my Metapod! Well, let's see what we got. <coughs> see if Inkay can at least stand a chance. Probably not, if I get beaten by an ankle biter. Okay, all I know is this tackle, so I should be good. Give you a lot of experience points, Matsumaru. Might take a little time, but yes. Yeah, use Harden. Is that an innuendo? Especially since the way Metapod is shaped. Huh? <laughs> Whoop down into the cocoonies. It's really interesting that after all these years of Pokemon, they only just came up now with having a Pokemon schooling session. I mean, they had, like, the first Pokemon season. Well, the first Pokemon series, at least. I, I don't remember if it was season one or two, but they had Pokemon Tech, which was a schooling for learning about Pokemon, but they never really addressed it. They only addressed it in one episode. Like, can you imagine at a regular schooling session in our reality where you had to choose between getting schooled for it or just uh, running off on your own little adventure doing whatever you want. And, and, they, and they do this when they turn 10 rather than turning 18. I suppose some 18 year olds when they graduate school instead of going off to college they just run off and do everything on their own. Whichever works. <laughs> Although it would be interesting if you got yourself a little familiar or a little partner, something similar to a Pokemon at least. I prefer to have like a wolf or an owl or even a bunny will do. Like a, the dwarf bunnies, really tiny, tiny ones. They're so cute. Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Just pushing. I'm just pushing the button constantly. I wonder if anybody's tried Harden versus Harden just like that. Just like in Pokemon. Oh, I'll never forget the Pokemon livestream where we challenged. We had one viewer challenge us. And the. It was impossible to beat her Pokemon because she used all these things where she just kept absorbing and healing and absorbing and healing and that battle lasted for maybe an hour so we joe and i were just like we surrender just you know just kill us end it we'll let you win this is never gonna stop i don't know whether to feel good or bad i mean at least she enjoyed losing i mean you know how kids feel about getting beaten by adults I mean, my character's not an adult, technically, but compared to a kindergartner, everything is adult. I got bellies. You can sell the berries, too. You get so many berries. Oops. Stop talking, or Get through these desks. Have you ever tried to visit your old school and realize how tiny everything looks? Okay, so I think the next one is that Mr. Champion over here. Because he didn't accept my challenge yet. There we go. <laughs> that face. Looks like looks like you beat everybody else, huh? But don't think you'll beat me the same way. Ekans' ability is gonna get you. Is is he Is he cunning or is he high? I don't know. I don't know. Just look at it's, it's 
He seems like he's looking at his own reflection on the Pokeball like, Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that. Look at me. Alright, Mr. Slytherin. Let's see what you got. Can my, does my jelly just stand a chance? No, it doesn't. I should switch. I should switch, like, right now. At least it, it doesn't do the beep-beep all the way. Alrighty. Ugh. I'm probably not gonna be able to move much. Yeah. Goddamn snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Actually, I do love Ekans and Arbok. They're really cool. Well, how you can do that bite is beyond me. I don't see any teeth on you. I don't think Ekans ever shows his teeth. Like, if they're retract retractable, that's one thing, but I've never- I don't think I've ever seen an Ekans show teeth. Alright. Was that your last one, I hope? Yay, level 12. That was easy. Matsumoto's really getting up there, too. I like it. <coughs> We're learning stuff and we haven't even done anything! <coughs> How could you only have one Pokémon? You're, you're the rising star saying you're the best at everything. But fine, whatever. At least he's still smiling. I can admit when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward, even. Take this technical machine. Oh, excuse me. Espresso's not working. First thing you know about TS, technical machines teach you techniques. I'll give your Pokemon new move in the flash. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a DM, then too bad. You're up to a creek, pal. Second thing to know about TMs, you can use TM as many times as you want, on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift from me, huh? You should thank me, bitch. So am I supposed to go to school now? Don't remember this part. No, I do remember this part, but uh, let's see. You can walk around if you want. <laughs> You're at the school? I'm at the school. I'm at the part where you did that hilarious joke. Oh yeah, I don't from that. the last one. <laughs> <coughs> what terrible thing did you do to get called into the office so soon? All I did was set the cat on fire. And it's only a fire type. <laughs> what terrible thing did you do to get called into the office so soon? Hey, he came on to me. <laughs> Hey, his penis was on the ground before I noticed it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't do shit. Yeah, I got called in the office just to do something fantastic. Oh, boy. I, I remember having a lot of trouble with her last time. So, let's hope. Let's hope I'm ready. I probably should have saved first. I forgot to save again. Okay. Let's see what we got for this one. Can I beat her in one shot, hopefully? <coughs> yeah, I'm already screwed. It's a grass type. Alright, Squid. Can you handle, uh... Can you handle an owl? Yikes. Barely. Oh, very barely. Hopefully, oh, you better get your ass out there. I will probably get beat easily. <laughs> Relic is so adorable, I don't want to take it down. Even when it looks angry, it's adorable. <laughs> How epic would it be if 
I know there's some types of Pokemon out there that have like they're divided by certain elements, so they can be certain types. Kind of like uh, kind of like those deer type Pokemon that I don't remember the names of. Okay, try Water Gun. So imagine if they have starter types where not only can you pick three different types of Pokemon, but like imagine Rowlet as a fire type or a water type. Like you have the three of them to choose from, and I'm already dead. I've already been beat, I'm sure. Would any of these guys even stand a chance? I don't know. How about you, Chase? Let's have your debut. I'm not sure what you can do, but let's see. I don't think you even have any physical attacks. Just tackle. That's all you got, dude. Just do your best. Oh, is that really her best? Damn. Damn indeed. No revives either. Yeah, I definitely should have, um... Should have hunted down some Pokemon to some training first. Why did I learn from last year? This will be embarrassing. With a, with a bug and a bird. I will eat bugs, right? I, I feel stupid now. I know I know that owls eat mice and rodents and stuff like that. I'm, but I'll probably have to research to see if they actually do eat bugs. Oh, but I'm pretty close. It's just one Pokemon. Please. Oh, your defense is good, Grubbin. You got a good defense. Oh, oh, I'm, I just might beat this. I just might beat this. I just might beat this. I'm jinxing myself, I know. But let's see, let's see. Can I end this in a victory? Yes! Sorry to do that to you, Rowlet, but that was awesome. I want to see a Rowlet as a fire or ice type. Or water type. I mean, that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Like, if you want, if, say, if the Pokemon creators ran out of ideas for new types, like, new creations of Pokemon, you can always take, um, the ones already created and make new types of it. I mean, you already did it with the Vulpix and the Sandshrews. You made ice types out of the fire and gr ground types. Why not do it with other ones? I don't, that's not a bad idea. Like, making them based on different elements and types. I'm, I'm just super curious as to, I'm really anxious to see if it really is true about the new Eevee evolution or if it was just a rumor that was misread. And look at this guy. It's, it's Lima here. It's Ilima or Lima, I can't... It's pro it's Ilima, I think. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You look so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Hachu, who moved here to Alola on the Kanto region. Yeah. She's got a real sense for how to use moves, and I think she's gonna go far as a trainer. Yeah. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials who will face on your way to the challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held at Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Alima. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass. Well, yeah, we all know that. In the tall grass of everywhere. Anything that's above the knees has Pokemon. Don't you see? If you please. You want to tease. Make a squeeze. Eat some cheese. Or eat your peas. Okay, enough of the rhymings. Oh, I'm being put in the spotlight. Yeah, that's right. Hachu is being put in the spotlight. Yeah, apparently I graduated. Gesundheit. Okay, so maybe I'll... Maybe I'll go a little more on this. She's gonna give me a tour of the city. Maybe I can go do some shopping and fix that hair of mine. Achoo! Over here! You only walked three feet. You know, I was really impressed seeing how you bat with your Pokemon the train to school. Were you watching? Like, where were you watching from? 
Oh, that's right, Tauros. Im imagine if that's how they ended it. I forgot about Tauros! It blacks out, and then you hear a trampling sound and a scream, like, ah! What a tragic way to end Pokemon. <coughs> Oh, that's right. I, I pet the. Grab it by the tail. Oh yeah, brilliant idea. I should have done that. See what had happened. It's interesting how he's taller than the Taurus. I thought they were bigger. So look up their stats for height again. Some of the Pokemon sizes are really weird to me, like, some I feel it should be smaller or bigger. Alrighty, so we're gonna tour the city or what? Or are you just gonna hop up and down again? Let's all go together! Yeah, the next town, I believe the last time I played, when I played the previous one, I spent forever in this city, just going through the grass areas and training my Pokemon. Because that's what I do in between these Let's Plays, usually, is that I train them as much as possible. Haole City. This, one of the cities I can't pronounce, even if it costs me my life. Oh yeah, that's the greeting. Did the Slowpoke just scare her off, or... Oh no, you're calling over to him. Can they really see from a distance that... Because, I mean... Like, is it that, like, everybody on the island knows each other? I'm wondering how easy it is to identify someone who has just moved there. I want to end this... I want to end this episode with a makeover. Oh! I see clothing. And more dialogue. Ugh! More dialogue. Come on. Of course I pick up my own clothes. How sad would it be if you're that age and mommy still picks out your own clothes? Lens case. What does that do again? A makeup bag? I don't remember getting those. What is sparkling over here? Something good will have if I remember it. Maybe that's a new side quest or something. Alright. I want to shop. I need a new outfit. Alright. No. No. Flashy. Because this is entertaining for all of you, right? Or are you all one of those people who just, like, sit on the corner waiting for other people to stop shopping? They probably won't have a lot of intriguing ones in this store, but let's just, eh. Tank top. Oh, here we go. S surfing tank. I had- this is the one I had last time. Ugh. I know. Call it a tank. Hmm. Just want to get a good. Oh, it's Pikachu surfing. That's cute. I think I'll do that. For starters, I can always buy more stuff. Hmm. Let's see. Completed. Are we entertained yet? <laughs> go for the pleated, pleated gray. Looks good enough for me. Nah, I don't worry too much over shoes and socks. And they do not have good hats. 
Or, well then again... I, I think I'll leave it as it is. So yeah, that looks good. How's about this? Yes, I would. Alright, I look a lot better here. Yeah, the baggy tank tops that make you look... Hmm. Yeah, put some lip... Because, yeah. Like I said, makeover. Where's that... Where's that blue? Give me the blue lips. There we go. Yeah, this is what I had last time. Blue, li blue lipstick can look pretty well if you have the right outfit on. Alright, so, there's my look. What do y'all think? Do y'all look fashionable enough? Oh yeah, look at this. I'm gonna finish it off with a little twirl. With a little twirl. You still twirl, right? Come on. Do you still do the spin? I don't know if I still do the spin, but I will... I'm gonna end the episode here. I got a new makeover. I'm very... I'm a little more satisfied with this. Maybe I'll upgrade... Maybe I'll have better upgrade. Have better upgrades in other stores. But in the meantime, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, you want to see more, feel free to play with the buttons below. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out all. Here's the spin. Check out all the content we have on our fan savvy channel. In the meantime, I'm your fangirl, and I hope you guys are enjoying the new Pokemon game. Stay savvy. Ta da! Do that one more time. Remind- this is Fangirl reminding you to stay savvy! Spin!